Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Check out this brand new battery from Golden Mate. Their newly released Group 31 size format battery. It's only been out for a few weeks. 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. They're calling it the Sirius 100B. So if you're looking for a full test teardown and review on this brand new Golden Mate, you found the right video. Let's get right into it. And yes, this Golden Mate has Bluetooth, so we'll be using Bluetooth for the test today during the duration to show you the performance of the battery. So you can see the battery is already 100% state of charge. I charged it a couple of days ago, but I'm going to hook the charger back up to it and top it off to make sure I get all the capacity I can. So I'll give you one more shot of this data before I connect the charger. You can see we have five temperature sensors on this Golden Mate Sirius 100B, and there's your cell data right there. So pretty even right now. You can see I've got the charger connected to the Golden Mate Sirius 100B. It is a 25 amp charger. So it's already jumped up immediately to 14 volts. So yeah, the cells are pretty much full to start with, but I wanna show you everything documenting the entire process. We're at 14.5 volts, the charger's tapering down. So it should be completely full, 3.65 per cell any moment now. All right, you can see we went off on pack overvolt. It is completely full. And you can see the record of the data from this session logged into the BMS. See, we got to 14.6 volts. So I've got the Golden Mate connected to the capacity test rig, the same stuff I always use. I got the energy meter cleared out right there. No energy has moved through the battery yet. So 14.28 right there on the energy meter. 14.27 on the Bluetooth app right there. So I'll turn the inverter on now. All right, still at 14.18. Now I'm gonna connect the load for today's test. It's a 12 volt battery charger. So I'll let everything stabilize. So I got the load stabilized on the Golden Mate. Ran it for a minute, let everything settle in. So it looks like we're at 460 watts plus or minus uh, 12.8. 81 to 12.4 volts reported on the BMS. That's the Bluetooth. Remember, we're getting a reading right off the cells from right here. And then over here on the energy meter, 12.76 volts, 465 watts, 36.52 amps. Remember, we're reading through a resistive shunt and through all these wires. So a small voltage discrepancy is to be expected. 12.80 to 12.83 reported from the Bluetooth, standalone meter one at the terminals. 12.8, meter number two, 12.79. Standalone current reading, 36.54 amps out of the Golden Mate, 35.5, 36.43. Not quite the halfway mark yet on this Golden Mate Sirius 100B. I wanted to show you Golden Mate's app. Uh, compared to the other app I was using a minute ago, as you can see, this is the battery information right there, 400 and 60 watts to draw, so just showing you their app as well. Uh, it's a little bit more basic. We've got uh, some temperatures here. It shows all our temperatures. You can pick Celsius or Fahrenheit on that as well. So I'm just trying to show you everything about this, but that's pretty much uh, about all you get on the Golden Mate app, but compared to the other app, it does give you a time to empty, an endurance time as they're calling it. It shows you your discharge state and all your information right there. So just you know, trying to be completely thorough for you. The voltage is starting to plummet off on the Golden Mate, getting close to its rated capacity. Will it make it? I don't know. We're 12.75. We're down to below 10.5 volts. And then the Bluetooth is showing 0% at 10.5 volts. We're at 2.6 volts per cell. The BMS cuts off at 2.5. Just lost the BMS right there. Don't know if it caught it on screen, but it looks like one cell dropped below 2.5. So I'll let it reboot and we'll see what... Uh, the actual capacity was. And I'll go ahead and shut the inverter off that I was pulling the load on this Golden Mate with. And the recovery point on these cells is 2.8. So I'm going to try to let it recover on its own, wake the BMS back up to energize the outputs. I may have to put a charger on it if it takes too long to wake it back up. So I popped it with another battery to save some time to get the BMS to reactivate. As you can see right there, it showed the, the charge, the little eight amps I put into it's what it sucked in from another battery just to bring the BMS back alive. So it is back on. And our final tally was 1277 watt hours out of a rated 1280, just a touch shy. 
So what do you get if you purchase a Golden Mate Series 100B? Well, of course, you get the Group 31 size format better with convenient carry handle for whatever application you see fit to use it on. You get Bluetooth connectivity features so you can check on it with your devices. You get a user manual. They give you a set of four gauge M8 crimp plugs right there so you can make some battery cables right off the bat and get started using this battery very quickly. I always like to see that. They give you two sets of M8 terminal bolts and some protective caps to keep anything from coming in contact with the terminals. And just a quick look at the technical parameters for this Golden Mate Series 100B. Uh, it's a capacity test according to their specifications right there. Their minimum is 97. It's rated 100. We come in right under 100, so I guess uh, it would be a pass. First time I've seen a minimum capacity rating uh, from a manufacturer in their manual. Probably for people like me that gripe if it don't quite get to the 100 mark. And the battery is capable of in series wired up to 4S. So it uses a 48 volt battery pack or any voltage in between. So you could get two for a 24 volt trolling motor, three, you know, whatever you need up to 48 volts. So that's nice to see as well. Before I start the teardown on the gold, mate, I want to show you the actual factory program and specs that this BMS has in it. You can, I'm going to pause the screen right here. You can look at all our settings, but I just wanted to make note down here of our charge over temp is 55c release is 45 our charge under temp is 0c and a five degree c above release with a trip delay of one second so there's all your other specifications right there i will roll the screen up so you can take a look at how this battery's programmed all right so i've got all the screws loosened in the lid of this golden mate sirius 100b so pop it open and we'll take a look at it there we go let me catch all the screws right here so nothing falls down and I'll get you a better shot. So here's a better look at the battery. You can see here's the BMS, nice large heat sink. And it's like deja vu opening this battery. It looks just like a Goldmate Orion 1000 minus the display on the top. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same BMS and exact same setup and build. Looks like they just changed the top cover out for a strap instead of two handles on the side like the Orion 1000. Very, very similar, if not exactly the same as that Orion 1000. The leads go into the terminals right here. We got dual number eight, 200 degree jacketed leads on the negative. Same on the positive, dual number eights. We got nice hydraulic crimp connections right there. Super tight terminal connection with adhesive to keep anything from coming loose right there. And we've got a nice gasket and O-ring all the way around the top cover that makes contact with the lower portion of the battery case to maintain its IP67 rating. We have our Bluetooth antenna right here. We've got one, two, three, four NTC sensors. And there's gonna be a chip on board sensor because we have five sensors showing on the data right here. And there is the model number of the BMS right there. We look under the cover right there, the top cover, J-G-N-E, just as I suspected. And the advertisements for the very first series of Golden Mates a couple of years back, they proudly advertise JGNE sales, and JGNE, you know, does have high quality sales. So, you know, it is, I guess, reassuring to see that JGNE mark in this battery. And if we look down the side of the battery case right here, you can see the high density foam between the cell group assembly and the outside. So, plenty of foam all around this battery. And there's your shot of the cylindrical cells right there. You can see how the cell group is assembled. They've got two rows going down. And of course, there's 4S, so they're split into four groups in series to get 12.8 volts. And this cell group is dropped in and bolted into the sides right here. You can see where they bolt in the actual cell holders, but I'm not going to be able to get it out without potentially damaging the cells. And we still got tests to do. You can see the cells, they put in a bed of sealant down there, so I'm not going to be able to get that out. You see these are pre-made custom grids right here, so each of the nickel strips goes down and ties into the cell wherever it needs to to make its proper voltages. You can see the small little nickel strips right there. So if you go to prying and pulling on this pack too much, I could dislodge that and break it and lose some cells. Then the total battery pack, common right here, negative and common positive, have a nice thick bus bar across the top, pinching that nickel strip. I guess that's more of a conductive bar than it is a bus bar per se. Uh, pinching down that nickel strip down to the contacts on the BMS. You can see we have inspection marks right here or if somebody checked it and marked everything and all of it is still in line. And then here is another number for the BMS right there, Golden Mate T104001A05. 
And then also on this battery, on this BMS, instead of having the balance lead wires going down to each group of cells or each cell to measure and balance, you know, they're tying it in right here with the strips on the BMS in their predetermined positions per the BMS manufacturer. So I'm gonna pick a random sensor. I'm gonna do a high and low temp test on this battery. Uh, if this is the same as an Orion, the sensor goes down and goes straight in between some of the cells. So I'm gonna pick this one. Let's pick this one right here. All right, so we're gonna check for high temp protection first on this Goldmate Sirius 100B. Got the sensor pulled right there. I've got the power supply connected, charging into the battery. So I'm gonna apply heat and when it trips, if it trips, you'll see this current go to zero. And then I'll do it again and we'll watch it on the Bluetooth. So here we go. All right, there it went. That's sensor number two for reference when we go back over to the Bluetooth. So right there, let me cool it back down. All right, back to charging. Then do it again on the Bluetooth. It's sensor number two right there. So here we go. All right, so cool it back down. We'll get back to charging. All right, back to charging. High temp works. Okay, now for low temp charge protection, I'm gonna put the sensor in the ice pack right here. And it should function, but we're gonna make sure. We'll watch it drop out here first, then I'll go over to the Bluetooth and show in the Bluetooth as well. All right, there it went. Dropped out right at zero. I'll warm it back up. All right, back to charging. And you can see, same sensor, sensor number two is still warming up from I had the ice on it a minute ago. I'll apply the ice pack back to it and you can watch it drop and we'll watch it on the Bluetooth. All right, charge under temp right there and warm it back up. All right, back to charging, great. So I'm gonna share my final thoughts on the Golden Mate Sirius 100B. Uh, if you go by their manual, as exactly as advertised, I didn't get 100 amp hours out, but I got within their specs, so I gotta call that a pass due to their marketing and advertisements and technical parameters right here. So it passed every test and is exactly as advertised. Good build quality, which is what I've come to expect out of Golden Mate, included accessories, is always nice to see as well. We've got app support. Now, I don't like their app that much, but you know, it is a functional app that they developed themselves, so that's always nice to see as well. If you didn't see Orion 1000, I have a link in the video description to that Orion 1000 video, so you can see the comparative or very similar, if not almost exactly the same build, minus some handles here and a display. Now, this one is cheaper than at Orion 1000, but I've not tested Orion 1000 since last year, so this one barely, you know, didn't quite get 100, but that Orion did 107. It was one of the highest ones I've ever tested in the 100 amp hour class. So I'm wondering if they started using a different cell with a lower capacity. I'm not sure, but I would like to see this do well over 100, just like that Orion 1000 did. And I'll also include a convenient link to this Golden Mate Sirius 100B battery along with that Orion 1000 I was telling you about too. I have a link to that battery as well so you can price compare the two and see the different features. So appreciate y'all watching today. Let me know in the comments, please, what you think about this Golden Mate Sirius 100B. Is this something you know, you'd be interested in? Is this a battery you could use? Please let me know. Hope y'all enjoyed today. Y'all take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. And special thanks to Golden Mate for providing a battery sample for today's video so I can show everybody how your battery is made and performs. Thank you.